right part two of the uh, building the cold frame um, I've finished the frame off and as you can see I've fixed it to the greenhouse some clips I've creosuited it all mounted the posts on concrete pads and these two pieces here that piece and that piece I've cut to the right size creosuited and they'll be going from the back there across the floor to this front board which I've also cut to the right size and creosuited the bottom edge to be in contact with the ground so that's it up to now I might let the post dry well they don't post the bottom cross pieces and this board here and fit them when it's dried tomorrow it shouldn't rain tomorrow um, I shall cut this piece of wood here in half lengthways and they'll be the two at either end cross members going from the top joist down to the bottom fixed with metal brackets if I'm putting any supports in the middle I should use a different wood probably a roof batten and then there's just the lights to do then whether I do it all in one or whether I um, do it in two or three I haven't decided yet depends on what size the plastic is I could make it in one and uh, divide it up for the plastic to fit so anyway you can see the size of what it's going to be and I'm just going to grow melons in it and obviously stick some seedlings in it utilize it for that I didn't realize that but I shall stick some seedlings in at the early part of the year so I can get the greenhouse planted out earlier rather than leaving it until the end of May I'll be able to plant that out earlier and yeah that's that um, you'll have to wait for part 3 thanks for subscribing thanks very much and see you later and goodbye